Should I just go now? Yeah. Hello, Hopkins to Middle School. This is HMS Today, and I'm your host, Caden Sanborn. We've been having a lot of fun with wordplay the last few weeks. We've had contronyms, and then that other thing, like, why is there no ham in a hamburger? I have no idea what that's called. Well, this week, we got another new thing. This is crazy. Prothom wrote in, can you die in a living room? This thing just keeps taking new twists. Thanks, Prothom. And for being the only person to take the time to respond to our segment, Mrs. McBride has something from us with your name on it. Well, actually, it has our name on it, but you know what I mean. And now, some segments. We're happy to say that Mr. Rockwood is back and all is well in the world. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. As we approach the upcoming Thanksgiving break, it is important that we do remember to express gratitude. Well, did you know that in 1621, the very first Thanksgiving festival was held? It was held for three days and was attended by 53 pilgrims and members of the First Peoples or the indigenous tribe known as the Wampanoags. Also, in 1863, President Lincoln declared Thanksgiving a national holiday. And lastly, in 1924, the first ever Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade was held. Now, I also want to say that on Thanksgiving, approximately 46 million turkeys are gobbled up by Americans. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day, be kind to one another, and make sure you feed your head by reading a great book. Welcome back, and thanks, Mr. Rockwood. And now I guess you'll be wanting your question of the day. All right, here you go. And in Cleary for being just like so awesome at home. Claire. Kylie. My parents for giving life to me and my brother. Music stars and people who I've, who I've noticed have done well in making movies. Tom Brady. My friends. People on Red Team because they're so amazing. Stephen Curry. Thanks for sharing. And speaking of sharing, it's time for a brand new segment, Tips from 8th Graders for the rest of us. Good morning, HMS. I'm Lavanya Mather. And I'm Hannah Connors. We're some of your 8th grade student council reps here to give you some helpful tips on how to develop good relationships with your teachers. Developing good relationship with your teachers is a very important thing to do to make sure your year at school is much more enjoyable. Yeah, when you develop a relationship with your teacher, they can understand what type of student you are. When your teachers know more about you, like what you do outside of school and what your learning style is, it makes, them, it, makes it easier for them to teach. Imagine if your teachers never talked about themselves or you guys or asked questions about you guys. I bet school would be pretty boring. Yeah, I agree. You got, so you guys should all try and develop stronger relationships with your teachers. It's as simple as asking them about what they did over their weekend. Hey, Mrs. Vera, do you have any fun weekend plans? Yeah, I, I have a really big weekend ahead of me. We have a big family party to say goodbye to my great auntie who's moving to Iowa. So all the cousins and aunts and uncles are going to be there. And then we're going to go on a college tour, tour with my daughter, Grace, who's looking at colleges right now. Cool. cool. That's, That's all for our segment. segment. Hope you make it a spectacular day and try and develop better relationships with your teachers. teachers. That's a really great idea. We'll be looking for more tips in the future. Now listen up, this is important. Next Wednesday is an early release day. Early release day! Settle down, it's next week. Here's Mrs. Brown with some info on that. Good morning, HMS. Most of you know me, but for those of you that don't, I'm Mrs. Brown. I'm the sixth grade school counselor and also an Ignite advisor here at HMS. I'm so excited to share with all of you a new program that we will be holding during three of our early release days this coming year, starting next Wednesday, November 27th. HMS Rise Up Day is a day where we will be celebrating our individuality, our diversity, and our common bond as an HMS community. That morning, we will be setting aside our traditional academic schedule and we'll be having activities and discussions that are designed to help all of us, students and teachers, increase our knowledge of each other. Each time we meet, HMS Rise Up Day will present you with a new idea as our focus. Next Wednesday, we will be thinking about the importance of recognizing gratitude in our daily lives. Did you actually know the daily practice of being grateful is actually scientifically proven to make us happier and healthier individuals? It's amazing to me that something so simple can have such a strong impact. So, next Wednesday, please come prepared with an independent reading book since we will be holding a drop everything and read moment. You will also need to bring some positive energy, a desire to have some fun, and get ready to rise up HMS. 
Did you hear what she said? Something about a deer day? Let's get some more information on that, shall we? Next week, Girl Scout Troop 85290 is hosting a deer day during Hiller Block. Deer day is one block where everyone in the building, including teachers and staff, drops everything and reads. Today we're practicing drop everything and read. Deer day! <laughs> Take 20 minutes and get lost in a great book. Can't think of anything? Try one of these. Lorelei Potter. Harry Potter. The Maze Runner. And The Hunger Games. Don't forget your book. All right, today is Friday and Wednesday is early release Deer Day. Got it? Lock that in your brains. Now, moving on, we had a great new poll last week on our website and exactly nobody answered. Really? And no one found our Have You Seen This? Truly? I guess we'll have to try again later. Roll the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everybody. Lastly, Audra sent us an awesome 3D image she made. Thanks for sharing your work, and thanks, Mrs. Brummett, for turning it into a movie for us. And J.D. gets a shout-out for his comment. So cool. Can't wait for the next one. He is fantastic, and we're thankful. And that's it for our show. Tell us anything at HMSTV at Hillers.org, and visit our website, HMS.today, for everything us, such as our poll. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.